All right, I guess we're gonna go boat shopping today. We originally started looking back in November for a Leopard 45 because they were supposed to be coming out of the moorings. It's gonna be their first year coming out of the moorings, uh, the 2017s. Uh, when we called over there, uh, we were told that there were no specific boats that they that were coming out. They didn't know how many boats were coming out, but they were gonna go ahead and take a deposit for a boat, any boat, and let us know when a boat was available um, for us to put an offer in. So that didn't really sit well with me, especially that much money um, on the deposit. So we decided to go ahead and shelve it for a little bit. And then in um, February, this past February, we called back to see if there was any movement and everything. And we were told all the 45s that were gonna be released in 2022 were already spoken for. So we've now had to move on from a charter boat now to look at other things out in the market. So we've been searching on Yacht World and through Facebook and whatnot uh, to see if there are any other boats available. Uh, the market's pretty hot right now, so um, everything is actually going to contract even before it goes on the market, which kind of stinks, but you know, it is what it is. So we're moving along and uh, we had contacted uh, a couple of brokers down in South Florida and uh, Michelle Raposa actually had uh, three boats coming on to the market pretty soon here. And she said that come on down and we'll be able to get you guys on board and let you take a look at them before they go to market. So we are heading down to Fort Lauderdale to take a look at these boats. Um, the first one that we are highly interested in is actually a 2016 Leopard 48. So it's a little bit bigger boat than we were hoping for, but you know, it will give us the same creature comforts that um, that we were looking for in the 45. So we've got that boat that we're looking for, and then also she's got a Leopard 44, I believe a 2016 as well, that um, we're gonna go take a walk on uh, to see um, if that's something that may tickle our uh, fancy. So, um, and also a leopard 40. Oh yeah. So oh, we're going to go walk right. on that that's and right. see how that is, but it doesn't, it's not the newer <laughs> Island bed one. It's the older one. So we're just going to see, right. It's Plus, available. So we're going to just look at it. It's available. It's a lot, a little bit smaller than we were looking at, but yes, yeah, so we're going to go take a look at the leopard 40 as well. So We've arrived in South Florida and it's time to take a look at the uh, Leopard 48 that's behind the house here. Um, looking forward to seeing what we got. We've, we've been to the show a couple of times. 2019, honey. That was a little while ago. So was this in charter in Belize? Yes. Okay. All the four cabins were in charter. Okay. Um, it was in Belize and these people are from Texas. <laughs>
Let's see. <laughs> what do um, you think of the 48? Uh, the 48, um, that's a big boat. Uh, we've got, um, yeah, it's, it's nice. I like it. Uh, there's a couple of things that I may not um, want in it. Uh, right now they've got lithium, but the gentleman that owns the boat right now built his own battery bank. So there's, it's not like a... Don't know if we necessarily trust that. <laughs> exactly. And then we, you know, it's three more feet for the water line. So that's going to cost more, more for dockage yeah. and haul outs. It will. And, uh, you know, that also there's some, uh, he started doing some tear out and some other things. Uh, there's a missing toilet and some other things that in, in the, in the boat that has to be addressed. Uh, but you know, uh, all in all, I mean, I think it's a great looking boat. It's a prior ex charter boat. Uh, and it's a 2016. So they've had it for about a year or so. And, um, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice boat. It's got the solar on it and everything else. So we'll have to do, you know, the upgrades are not going to be that much, but, um, he's you know, already started be... <laughs> to tear out for the utility room. So yeah. I guess that was kind of nice. Yeah. Didn't, so. wouldn't have picked the place for the washer, but no, that's kind of high, huh? Davis, what's um, your thoughts? My thoughts are, it's a really good boat, but what do you think about the dinghy on the back? It's got the console and everything, huh? All right, well, we're gonna follow Michelle and we're gonna head over to go see a Leopard 44. Yep. We've arrived over where the 44 is docked and we're just waiting for Michelle to, she was right behind us. Um, but as soon as she gets here, we're gonna hop out and take a look at the 44 and see what's going on. So this is the boat that we originally, when we kind of started this whole plan, we thought we were gonna end up with yep. a 44, but we've never actually been on one because the first boat show we went to in 18, um, they had just, it was a 45. So we've never actually walked on a 44, so. We'll see how it is. Yep. is for to wash your mouth out if you say something not so nice. That's the only reason we have that. Alright, so here's the door. It works. Um, so, trampoline. I can't jump on it because, I mean, it, I mean, yeah, it bounces, but. Alright. What are your thoughts on the 44? Um, I didn't like it. I wasn't impressed at all. Yeah. Um, it was, it seemed a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Just the layout. So we, in 2018, when we went to the show, the 44 was no longer in production. It was a new 45. Um, one of the changes that I noticed is that the, the hatches for the engines on the 45 was, and in the 48 as well, that it's large, it's a big sheet of basic, you know, basically part of the, the hull that lifts up and out. Um, on the 44 though, it's just a small hatch. Um, it's kind of cramped to get in and out of there. And uh, I don't think I'm a big fan of that, but um, it's, the boat looks a little- Well-loved. Well-loved, yes. It was and, in uh, charter and then I think it was in charter again. Yeah, just, so, I don't know, not a warm, fuzzy feeling. No, I mean, it's a fine boat. I, I don't just don't want to live on it for four years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the 44. Or the, no, let's go check out the 40. 40, that's right, that's right. All right, let's go, guys. Here at, this is the Leopard 40, 40 that we're going to go take a look at. I think it's a 2020? 2019 or 2020. 2019 but I'm excited to see this layout. Yeah. Because on paper, I think we'll like it. I just don't know if it's too small. So let's go see. All right. Okay, so here's the Leopard 40. Start. I'm going over there first. No, no. No. We're going to see over there first. We're going to see the outside of the boat. So what do you think of the 40? I liked it. I think that it's a very, very nice boat. Um, I like the layout much, much better than the 44. I think it seems more spacious than the 44. Right, but it's only got two bathrooms. And I think, um, oh, yeah. you know, for us wanting to convert kind of one of the bathrooms into like kind of a, like a little laundry area, um, you know, that would be a problem because then we'd be down to one bathroom. Um, but I mean, it actually felt bigger than the 44. Uh, maybe just because it was the layout. I don't know. But, uh, but if I had to go between the boats today, I would say the 48 and then the 40. Yeah, I would say the I would say the 48 first, then the 40 would be my second choice. Um, and the 44 would not be a choice at all. <laughs> but again, um, it was the 40 was a nice boat. Uh, that's what I uh, think and we shall see let's go home and or back to the uh, hotel and grab some dinner talk about it and we'll see see what's next happy Father's Day oh thank you buddy happy Father's Day thank you so we have decided that we talked about last night and decided that we're going to go take a look at the 48 again. Um, it hits on a lot of the things that we want. It's a little bit larger, but, um, you know, I think we need to take a look at it. Um, and unfortunately, Michelle's not available today. So we're going to go ahead and meet with her sister because her sister is also her partner. And um, we're going to be meeting her in about an hour. So... Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of breakfast here at the hotel and then head on out and um, take another second better look a little harder look at it and so possibly even make an offer on the boat 
Hey, does the dinghy come with it? The dinghy comes with it. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yes. It's a it's the dinghy you've dinghy. always dreamed of. Yes, and mom and dad have said no about the consoles, but it's already there. We've come to agreement that if <laughs> it comes to an agreement, if it either comes with it or we have to buy one, we'll probably buy a console. Well, we'll but see. It just we'll happens see. to come with this one. It happens to yeah. come with this one, so. We'll All right, see. let's go take one more All look. Right, let's go. It's hot. How are you not sweating? I wanted to share with you guys an update uh, with uh, what's going on with our search. Um, we had actually put an offer in on the Leopard 48 that we saw a few days ago. And um, we just heard back from Michelle Ropiza. Uh, the sellers have come back with a counter offer and uh, we have some stuff to consider with that. But there has been a pretty huge development um, we actually have been perusing, uh, you know, the site still just kind of looking daily. and daily and, uh, just so happened that something amazing popped up on the Moorings website. Uh, it is a Leopard 45 for sale. Uh, so as soon as we saw that, um, Shannon's like, you need to get on the phone right now and call about this boat and see what the deal is. Uh, so I've got to call in to our broker over at the moorings and we are waiting to hear back about what this boat entails if it's for sale or what the status so we're is just crossing our fingers crossing our fingers it's still available it's not spoken for <laughs> so for now from right now we're going to hold off on getting back with michelle uh, about the counter offer until we figure out the status of this boat so fingers crossed and we'll see what happens